Fisher with a nice chest down over the shoulder, and he drops it back. Another great drop pass. <laughs> A very happy Wednesday to you guys. This is RC. We are back for Football Manager 20 as we are winding it up. Hope you guys are happy with how things are going in the save. Uh, haven't been going quite so good as of late. Let's take a look at that for you. So we played Tottenham and Chelsea last time. We came back and drew with Tottenham 1-1. Harry Kane got a penalty in stoppage time at the end of the first half, and Darko Cherlinov with the equalizer for us in the 66th minute. We could not find a way to win that one. 3-0 uh, friendly win in the uh, in an international break, I believe is what that was. Crystal Palace, a 0-0 draw. Uh, Ewan Henderson sent off in the 79th minute with a straight red. So we've been without him for a spell here. 1-1 draw with Villa. Uh, Postema with the early goal. We got the equalizer from Ids at the end of the first half. And then a one win, nothing win over Chelsea in the FA Cup. Car Carraro with the early goal, and we made it stand up. And then uh, we played a slightly rotated squad against Swansea and uh, could not find a winner there as we draw. So no losses, but we're dropping a lot of points. I mean, so two, three, four points out of our last seven, four points out of our last five, not going well. We've fallen into eighth position. Wolves is nipping at our heels, and we are now three points behind Newcastle, five points behind Tottenham as we are outside of Europe now. So that's not good. I really wanted us to have uh, Europe to look forward to at least one year in that five-year wrap-up so I have my work cut out for me we have made a few deals and we'll take a look at them uh, these are going to be for the future again trying to set the club up so we have signed uh, two attackers Matija Sopic uh, he is a 20 year old uh, striker he will be joining us July 1st taking a look at him he is a young striker 20 year old Croatian left-footed uh, joining us in the future. Now, he's not going to be a big deal. This is from one of our uh, affiliate clubs that we have the right of refusal. Uh, and so he somebody had put a bid on him. And I looked at him and I said, hey, you know, he's got physicals. He's got some potential. He probably will never be good enough to play for us. But uh, I thought maybe he had enough upside that we could sell him for a good profit because we got him on a free. So... That was the first signing. Then we signed Fernando Luis from Corinthians. He will join us on June 9th for a $17.5 million fee. He is classified as a wonder kid from Brazil, 19-year-old Brazilian wonder kid, who for some reason hasn't play, had any youth caps. Strange. Another striker can also play midfield and out on the wing. Valued at 14 and a half, so just over value, which I thought was a good value for a wonder kid. That's why I went after him. Uh, very good physicals. Uh, not a big jumper at 5'10", but uh, very good first touch, solid finishing, free kick taking, passing, and technique. Uh, finishing as well as a 13. Just thought he was a good get moving forward. Going to be probably the replacement for Collins. And maybe, uh, oh, what's that other German kid's name? I'm drawing a blank. Starts with an M. Drawing a blank. I could edit it out and tell you, but I'd be lying. Uh, Bjorn Marinov. And yes, he was German. I told you. I know my players. And then uh, we have a, uh, a deal going for Alex, a 20-year-old Brazilian from Vasco, uh, for up to 25 and a half million we have uh, they've accepted it we've got a contract offer to him huge money 4.63 million a year he is a central defender and he is pretty good six foot one physical mentals are through the roof he doesn't play with a lot of flair but he can mark he can pass so he could be a ball winning uh, ball playing defender very, very good, and he is going to be likely one of our starting two. 
and gives us a little flexibility to maybe move one of those other guys around. But the fact that we were, you know, we're, we're trying to sign two wonder kids in our final season, I think shows the progress that we've made and really trying to set the, you know, this club up for that five year run that we're going to take a look at on Saturday. Uh, we did have four players called up for international duty. O'Dane Henry for Jamaica, uh, Cherlinov for North Macedonia, Craig Mitchell for Northern Ireland, and Pavlovich for Serbia. I was actually, uh, one of the things that I do when I'm s simulating uh, the days between matches, I usually have my, my uh, other screen open and I'm usually watching somebody else's YouTube. And I was watching uh, Aussie Villain uh, at Brentford and he has Pavlovich playing for him and I'm way behind. So I'm just kind of catching up and I went, Oh, Hey, I got that guy on my team. Uh, so anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. Let's take a look at the preview. We're playing man city today. We are heavy underdogs. Uh, I am going to play the more defensive posture. So that's going to put Nunez and Ids up top. Mitchell, Coffey, Marinov is going to drop to that right wing. Carraro in the defensive midfielder position. Uh, Serkin, Adarabayo, Bilotti, Asta on the back line, and Gerard in the goal. So let's get to it. Maybe we can pull one more stunner over Man City in this save. That would be very interesting. I just don't know how much the odds would be in our favor on that. But we are going to get asked for some creativity. All right, they lace one in, and it's headed and then flopped out of bounds. And we've given them another free kick. We've got a small wall there. I don't like that. Oh, another big save by Gerard or Gerard. I go with Gerard. That's the uh, Cajun pronunciation. We have a lot of Gerards back home. All right. We overrun it there. In some space. Oh, there's a nice ball, and it goes out of play. A little too heavy on the touch there with that pass. But it looked good. Very dangerous. Let's tell him no pressure. Oh, the keeper cannot get a hand on it. Back door for Betancourt. I think we had Betancourt on a on a one of our saves, haven't we? That's a familiar name. I think we've crossed paths with him before. He was a midfielder, right? Yeah, he was really good. I'm trying to remember. It was one of it was one of my saves this year. I don't remember who though. If you guys remember, let me know in the comments. Another header goes over the bar. Come on. Let's get creative again. Mitchell picks up a yellow. They picked up an injury, Phil Foden. And there's our half. Possessions there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to change anything. So let's go in for the pep talk. Sympathize. Tell them to lay off for the booking. And then we will get back out to it. We will again ask for some early creativity. Near post, there's a header, but it goes high. There was a chance for us to equalize. That was, uh, at least we had something there, right? Come on, boys. We've got to take advantage of this. Uh, we're handling possession. Let's go up to balanced. Keeper, again, didn't look good on his positioning there. We need to do a little bit better. Anybody struggling? Ids is struggling. Serkin doesn't look great. Actually, Marinov looks really bad. Let's bring Cherlinov on for him. That'll get a yellow off. You know, we can bring Adaraboyo to the left, to the right and then bring Corbo on in the center there. We really need some pressure here, boys. Oh, he stuck a foot in. Dangerous, dangerous. That's outside to Wagyu. And I'm going to say that was side netting. We've got to be our ball. 
All right, let's show some passion. We do have some anxiety, some frustration. I really want to tell him to calm down. All right, we got, oh, he got stabbed away. Good rebound. That's over the top. Brilliant ball. Nunez, nothing on the finish. Nothing on the finish. All right, tight groin. Let's try to get him off. I do not have anybody else. You know what, Uijan, we'll just have to play you on the offside. Now you are left-footed. Serkin is left only. So yep, I mean you can play the position. It's just the it's just your weak foot, but that's okay. We can make do there. And we are gonna fall short here one nil, barring some kind of last minute miracle here. Like right there would have been really nice. Or if our guy could have gotten up there and headed the ball. Stolen away. Okay, hold your breath. Cherlinov. Mitchell chases it down. No, and he gives it away to Bettencourt, and that's going to be it. Blow the whistle. Put us out of our misery. Don't give them another shot, please. Oh, that's bullshit. Bullshit. I'm going to say we lost that one 1-0. That was crazy. Bernardo Silva with the assist. Oh, that's... Um, I'm going to be aggressive, not happy. Okay, so their, their expectations are right up there with mine. Problem is, we have dropped so many points. Newcastle picked up a win. So they're still three ahead of us. Tottenham, luckily, has lost two in a row. Keeping it close. Keeping it close. Poor finishing. Adaraboyo's out just one to two days. Nunez, eight matches without a net. All right, we'll be back for the next match here in just a second. That'll be the FA Cup quarterfinals against Aston Villa. <laughs> So Daniel Nomov was just called up uh, by Bulgaria for international duty to face France. And we are on the road. I'm still going to go with this tactic. I am going to drop back to balanced, though. Berg's fitness. All right, I'm going to bring Collins in for this match. He'll pair up with Ids up top. I'm bringing Wharton in for his partnership on the left side uh, and Owajan in the central mid uh, just due to some of the injuries uh, and suspensions that we have. So let's get to it. Berg wasn't fit enough for me to bring in, so he will sit this one out as well. Not finding a way into the team. And we have Gerard in goal. God, just looking at those Villa shirts makes me nauseous. Who is this? Why? Okay, that is Wharton. He's supposed to be out there. And McGinn puts us in a hole in the fifth minute. I need to kind of watch that and see what happened. Looks like that's him up here near the edge of the box. Nobody marking him. And he just got a volley on that ball. You know, if you're going to place a volley without even taking a touch, there's not a whole lot you can do. All right, we're going to go back up to positive. All right, we have a set piece here. Oh, their guy goes off, so they're a man down as well. Mitchell right into the wall, put it in, and Henderson finds the net, his fifth of the season. We take advantage of them being a man down, and that was much needed as a result and a response. All right, we're going to take a corner here. Oh, it goes off the bar. That was unlucky. Unlucky. Headed out. Ojan. Ojan gets there. A little bit of hustle. Good job. 
Uh, let's uh, let's encourage him. All right, he's fired up. Good. Wharton almost falls down, and the keeper. I don't like the fact that they just stand there. <laughs> that makes me nervous as hell. All right, out to Wharton. Crossed into space in the middle. Oajan is there. Laid off to Henderson. And a turnover. That's not great. There's a counter. Ramsey's in. And he squares it to our guy. Good job. <laughs> All right, there's a deep ball over the top. Mitchell, brilliant first touch into the box, lays it in, and Ids is there, his 13th of the season. That was a brilliant pass, putting it back behind him to the spot, right at the edge of the box for Ids to make that run. Brilliant goal. Brilliant goal. I wish that I could figure out how to program that into the tactic. Not, to, you know, where they do that more often, where that's actually something they try to do. There was a slide through the back by Fisher. He got all ball. And he takes a ping from the edge of the box and gets knocked over. Let's praise. Try to keep him fired up. All right, Asta at the edge of the box. Blocked away. Fight, fight, fight for the ball. Now get rid of it. There you go. All right, Fisher, heavy touch and loses it. I'm not happy with that. God dog it. All right, there's a throw into the box, headed out and cleared easily. Pavlovich does pick it up. And I guess he was expecting Mitchell to be making a run Towards the corner, it doesn't happen. There's a good tackle by Wharton, who gets back on defense. Come on, boys. And then both players on him. <laughs> All right, Mitchell holds it up. There's a nice ball out. Collins, not the paciest player anymore. Oh, my God, I thought he was going to get the near post there, and it just went off the post with a ricochet. Oh, that's that's too bad. All right, let's take a look here. Everybody's playing okay. Asta's actually playing worse than Wharton, which I find odd because Wharton has not looked good. But let's see if we can get anything out of this. We'll ask for some more creativity to start the first, the second half couple of people get overwhelmed. Usually you don't get overwhelmed asking for creativity. Weird. All right, Mitchell controls it, almost gives it away. Fisher, there's some good one-two ball over the top. Collins is in, but doesn't have the pace to close on that. Oajan. Oh, he took, I think he was taking a Kamar Roof ping from midfield. All right, you know what? I am, I'm going to pull Wharton. Let's bring Sirkin on for him. I'm thinking about pulling Collins, but he's actually playing pretty well. Good save and just get the ball out. Come on, come on. All right, header goes over, gives us an opportunity to catch our breath. There's the first substitution. I'm going to drop back to balanced again. Asta out to Henderson. He reverses field with it. Mitchell. Collins can't find it. And cleared out. Squared in to Oajan this time. Some good movement. There's a deep ball. Fisher chases it down, keeps it in play, but turns it over. Hate that kind of play. I hate that kind of play. 
All right, they get back on defense. One-on-one. -on -one. What a save at the near post. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That was dangerous. All right, back out to the outside. Squared in. We get the header out. All right, into some space. Mitchell gets beaten. We go up for the header. That's not good, boys. I want to bring Carraro in for him. He's he, His match fitness is not looking good. Cleared out. Henderson picks up the ball off a heavy touch. Please don't sit there on the ball. That makes me lose years off of my life, and I'm already old. Fisher with a nice chest down over the shoulder, and he drops it back. Another great drop pass. Ids with the goal, and it's 3-1. That was very good. Very good. So that's the second time they've done that this game. I am liking that. I don't know how you force them to do that, though. <laughs> I don't know how you force them to do that. Oh, well. All right, Gerard Carraro. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Yeah, Carraro, you are not a ball-playing defender, please. Bilotti. No. Actually, you know what? You are kind of a ball-playing defender. So let's let's just cancel that. He's got a 14 in passing. I can live with that. Mitchell drives into the middle of the field. Oh, I thought he was looking for a through ball there. There's another square and Ids with his 15th. Fisher with the assist. What a play there. I thought that entry pass from Mitchell was going into the striker. I thought he was dropping it into here. So that caught me off guard. I thought he was going to go towards the edge of the box. Drives in, draws the defender, drops it into Ids right behind him. That was a brilliant play. And I think we can safely say that we have... Ooh, hold on. Somebody hurt? Is it Asta? Yes. Asta is a groin injury. Let's get him off for Cherlinoff. Not the guy in that position, but still... Flipped over. So I think a three-goal advantage. I think we're pretty secure. Of course, now with that injury and a player playing out of position, all bets are off. Carraro. Over to Owajan. Out to Cherlinoff. Now when he's attacking, he's actually pretty good because he is more of an attacking player. All right, but I don't like him right there. <laughs> he gets it back to the keeper. We reset. There's Mitchell in some space. Plays it through to Ids, and Ids with, I believe, a hat trick. Sheer magic. Yes. I don't know if that was a hat trick or not. Was that his second or third? It's his second at least. Fourth. Holy crap, I lost count. Four goals for Idzikowski. We're going to actually give him his whole name off of that goal. Sessignon. Boy, we uh, we get torn up by him a lot, it seems. Excellent results. Uh, you, I am going to go full passionate on you. And I am proud of your dominating performance today. And all things are good. All right, we do have the semifinal draw, so let's go ahead and look at that. Five to six days for Asta. We get 1.1 million for winning that. Ids, of course, we are going to give uh, a passionate response. And let me get up to the semifinal draw, and we will do that before we call it an episode.
All right, we just confirmed that we did sign Alex, the 20-year-old wonder kid. Uh, so that is good, the center back. So liking that. So he will be joining us later in the season. When's he come on board? Uh, June 9th. So it'll be after the season's over, but before we start losing other players. So we'll carry a little bit of salary there. That's okay. I am wondering if, the two Brazilians coming in are going to necessitate some roster moves to make room on the 25-man roster. Could be. Could be. All right, well, here is the semifinal draw. So it's Everton, Norwich, Man City, and ourselves. I would like uh, anybody but Man City. <laughs> And, of course, we get Man City. That figures. Yeah. I mean, Everton's technically a premier team. They got relegated last year. Norwich is up in the premier. Where are they? They're fifth, so they're doing fine. Where's Everton down in the championship? They're in third, so they're, they're within striking range of automatic promotion. So that can be done. You know, and Leeds, oh my God. I swear, there's, I think, I think, uh, I think there's some people at SI that just don't like Leeds. <laughs> I think there's some hard coding going on here. Oh, well. All right, so we draw Man City. So that means we will be coming back for that match for sure. So let's plan um, Man City and Leicester. Yeah, I don't think either one is, uh, you know, either one. So Man City and Leicester for the FA Cup semifinal. And then it'll be Arsenal Wolves or, or if there is an FA Cup final in our future, we will definitely be back for that in addition to one of those two games. We may do Arsenal. We may do Wolves. I don't think it matters. We're not playing for the title. So that'll be uh, the last two episodes coming up with some FA Cup semifinal action. Guys, hit that like button for me. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done so. And uh, hey, we will uh, see you tomorrow with some more action. Take care. Bye.